Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge. In this video, I'm going to talk about why it's important to kneel. Let's go ahead and get started. Well, ladies and gentlemen, since everyone's talking about kneeling these days, I'd also like to talk about kneeling. And a kneeling position when you're shooting a rifle is very important. It's one of the core positions that you use in combat. I know that standing, kneeling, and prone are definitely the three most common position used in combat. I elaborated on this in my American Rifleman book and I've got that link in the description box below. And I get into a little bit more detail than what I'm going to get into on this video in that book, but I just want to give you a video for this weekend and what we're talking about folks is kneeling. We've got two types, we've got a brace kneeling, we also have a speed kneeling. The reason why we would kneel, number one, it may be we want more extra stability as opposed to standing and that would be when we'd use brace kneeling. Other times though, it's not a stability issue. Sometimes we want to change the trajectory of our shot. If I have to take a shot on somebody and I've got innocent bystanders in the background or I've got to be aware of my target and its background, then I may have to change the angle. In other words, instead of the round going straight forward, I may want that round going up and away from me. So folks, if I was taking a shot kneeling on this target, if I was getting body shots into him, I would have to be able to make sure I was aware of my background as well. But let's say innocent bystander shoots across because they're freaking out and scared or even a home defense situation. If you were in a home defense situation and a bad guy is coming and went across your kid's bedroom door, or your significant other, or your in-laws, well, maybe not so much the in-laws, but either way, we want to change the angle of our shot. So here's how it would look like. What I would do, get a couple shots into the body, and then I'd have to drop to a knee and make a head shot. Now, before I get up, I'm checking around, and I'll get to my feet. So folks, as you can see when I was standing, I put the body shots right here and then I dropped down to that knee and then I put a nice head shot in there. And what that did is it allows that trajectory to go up and away from innocent bystanders. So something you're going to want to consider in a home defense situation if you've got neighbors or if you've got children in bedrooms or if you've got anybody else in your house. One thing to remember is when you're taking those shots standing, we can shoot here. But when we've got our finger on the trigger, when we get our, our standing shots, when I drop down to a knee, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your trigger finger is nice and straight, then we get down into the kneeling position, and then we can get back on the trigger. Before you get up, don't just stand back up. You want to make sure that you check around you, make sure it's okay to stand, and then you can get back up. So just a couple of quick tips when you go out to the range, maybe even doing dry fire in your house. And guys, I've got dry fire in my rifleman book. I've got an entire addendum on there about how to do your dry fire with your rifle. So just a couple tips for you. Uh, we'd love to see you in class. Our schedule's filling up very quickly, guys. I don't have that many spots left for Rifleman 1 or any other rifle class for that matter, so you may want to jump on those early. I'm really tired of turning people away, but uh, I'm not, not going to have a bazillion people in a class simply for the fact of, of that. I want you to have the best experience. If you found the information in the video helpful, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Facebook. That link is down below. If you want more drills and in more detail, i got my American Rifleman book. But the best thing of all is to come out to a class, get hands-on, instruction under the watchful eye of a competent instructor and we'd love to see you in class and make our, our year and so uh, make sure you get in quick because they are filling up. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.